today we're going to reload the Toshiba satellite model number C655D S5300. So, I'll show you how to get to this screen here. So, we're going to first just power the machine off. And I'm just holding down the power button here real quick. So, then I'm going to power it back on. And I'm continuously hit the F8 key. So it's continuously hit the F8 key, not the F9. And we're going to get to the screen here. So from there, as you see, it says repair, like repair your computer. And so that's what we're going to have to do here. get some power to this camera quarter so now I'm going to select repair computer right there up the top there so I'm go ahead and enter and it just looks like it's loading but And voila. So we got to this screen here. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. And I don't think that there's a password on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. If you got a password, I'll protect it. User account, please enter right here I'm just hit OK and this is where we want to go so you see the different options you have system restore startup repair Toshiba recovery wizard wizard and command prompt and obviously you could test for memory issues what I want to do is I want to recover this to out of box state I want to remove all previous um, everything that's on here off so please back up your files please back up your files once they're gone they are gone for good I am not concerned with backing it up because I already took care of this so I'm gonna go ahead and proceed so I'm gonna go ahead and click right here we want to recover it to the out-of-box state that um, actually we're gonna go here to Shiba recovery wizard because I didn't create an image so I don't know what I was thinking there but this is going to erase every single thing on your computer once we get through here so. So give it a sec and there go your big bright warning about what this will do so I'll let you read over that and you will continue at your own risk because it will all be over with after you hit yes on this and continue the following steps. So I've already done most of this stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and next. And there we go. We want to recover to out of box state. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit next. So, and from here, it's just asking me what size do I want the hard drive partition. And I'm going to still leave it as the out of box state and hit next 
and it's warning me again. It's warning us multiple times for a reason. So I'm going to say yes, I want to continue because I backed up all the data like you are going to do. So your pictures and everything else will be deleted after this point. And so the process is going to begin and I really don't need to bore you through the rest of this. It's just going to go ahead and it's going to reload your whole entire operating system to the date that you got it. Not the date, but how it was when you first got it out of the box now that being said it also will reload the old antivirus and the old um, we call it junkware programs and it's gonna put all that stuff on there so you just get a good cleaner CC cleaner or a good uninstaller such as Revo and remove all the junk off of there or you could use um, program called PC Decrapifier which will walk you through removing a lot of the junk off of there also and you have a good system good running system after we perform all the updates and load a later antivirus software on here and it'll be good to go so this process generally takes around an hour or so and once it's done you can boot into Windows type in your new password there so forth and so on I got plenty of these videos on, on my account so you pretty much get the idea how this work by now if you follow me if you don't follow me it's probably a good idea to at least check out a few of my videos and um, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button over there because that do help me in knowing that you guys want to see these videos and I'm not just making them for no reason so that encouraged me to make more when I get the comments and I get the like and I see subscribers it really really does encourage me to make more videos if I don't see it then I really just start to slip away as far as making more stuff that could possibly help someone but that's how that works so Robert YouTube user big on you Gen X computers and thanks for watching